got an inch uh, and a half glass and an inch and a half water. Okay. All right. He doesn't have no repeat customers because he walks from the dead. <laughs> What I want to do is just to tell all of you things, first of all, for, for being here. We're here because you guys are here. We appreciate you choosing us to come on with. By now, I believe everybody knows who your guys are. If you don't, let me know. So we're going to drive in, I think you said 30 or 40 minutes on the uh, UTV, and then Apparently has a really good spot. I have no idea where it's at, but it sounds like he was going there the other day to find a couple of big bulls and his client shot before they even got there. So hopefully those bulls are still around and we'll see what we end up with today. I think it's about 36 degrees. Some layering up for a nice cool UTV ride. We'd have to get to that flat and we'd be able to shoot across. Which wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I think we should go at least get a closer look at them. Okay. We'll get down there on that flat and we'll get over there and find them. Back up here on this road and we'll see if we can't intercept them on the way up. Because okay. I know where they're going. Sorry, they're, 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 yeah, they're going with that little saddle. It comes out over here. Oh, that's so it's cold. Arrgh! <laughs> 
calm down. Just stay there. <laughs> so we were chasing this herd bull. And uh, we we're kind of trying to sneak up, and all of a sudden, one was it 60, 60, 70 yards in front of us, runs in front. Turns out there's two of them. We had had one bugle over here earlier. First one was kind of short, the second one looked pretty good. So, freaking stoked. That's my first elk. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's a rush seeing him run by at 60 yards. <laughs> oh, dude, that was so oh. killer. Oh, man, I am so pumped up. I can for one, I'm running. Yeah. yeah. Get over here for two. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, go, go, go. 